And guess what? For the Saw series kill counts, I'm proud to announce two new awards that I'll be handing out each episode. The Platinum Punji Sticks will go to the coolest trap in each movie, regardless of if they killed anyone or not. And the inaugural winner will of course be the reverse bear trap that Amanda escaped. Despite not getting to see its end result, this trap has become the quintessential Saw trap, and it's so violent that you even kind of feel for the mannequin head that gets destroyed during the demo. Conversely, the Rusty Mouse Trap goes to the movie's lamest trap. I'll give this one to Adam's bathroom trap, cause like what, his whole game was to just not let the key go down the drain when he woke up? Platinum Punji Sticks for coolest trap goes to that Venus Flytrap death mask. I think the key behind the eye thing is the perfect balance of gruesome but doable act that someone could go through with as long as they had that will to live. Rusty Mouse Trap for lamest trap goes to the furnace trap that killed Abby. Even the briefest assessment of the inside of that furnace would have revealed the devil in his valve. No one should have died from that. The Platinum Punji Sticks for coolest trap goes to the rack that killed Timothy Young. No relation. It's so drawn out and brutal, twisting each limb one by one until it gets to the head. And the key tied to the shotgun thing is another difficult but achievable win condition. Rusty Mouse Trap for Lamest Trap actually goes to the classroom trap, cause it's so unwinnable and not for the bullshit door welded shut reason the cops keep talking about. Between the chain through the jaw and the ones through both Achilles' tendons, this is a poorly designed trap that leaves absolutely no chance for survival. The Platinum Punji Sticks for Coolest Trap will go to the bedroom trap that tore Ivan to pieces. It was the most interesting trap of the movie, with a brutal price to pay in order to escape, and when the dude failed it, the consequences were spectacular. Body parts flying everywhere. Rusty Mouse Trap for Lamest Trap will be the marriage pincushion between Rex and Morgan. It's not awful, it's just the least cool of the movie, and I still feel bad that Morgan had to go through it, even if her abuse had caused her to become complicit. The Platinum Punji Sticks for Coolest Trap will go to the Necktie Trap, also known as the Collars. I love the tension, pun intended, of each person having to give and take so they can all escape, and the reveal that one key would have freed them all is an excellent way to illustrate how selfish these people's instincts were. Rusty Mouse Trap for Lamest Trap will go to the shotgun chair that Jigsaw put Hoffman in. What, his test was to be willing to pull the trigger on himself? Also, I don't know guns, but I've read that with the way that cartridge is shown to have been loaded afterward, Hoffman should have actually had his head blown off. Platinum Punji 6 for Coolest Trap has plenty of options, but in this case, I'll give it to fan favorite, the shotgun carousel. There are so many different variations of terror on display here. It's super messed up and horrific to watch. You know, like in a good way. Rusty Mouse Trap for Lamest Trap goes to the Peck Fly Machine. Honestly, all this movie's traps were good, so I just picked the least splashy one here. Great isometric exercise, though. Platinum Punji Sticks for Coolest Trap will go to the Impalement Wheel. It seemed like one of the few traps that was possibly doable, although, I don't know, those side stabs might have been too much for anyone to overcome. I just love calf raises. They're one of my favorite exercises. Rusty Mouse Trap for Lamest Trap will go to the Brazen Bull. Like, yeah, it's horrific, but not in a fun way, and it turns out Joyce didn't have much of a chance at all, since the pec muscles proved to not have enough shear strength for the task. Platinum Punji Sticks for Coolest Trap will go to the Buckethead Trap. Yeah, it's a super simple one, and yes, this movie has a bunch of cool traps, but this one became instantly iconic because of its simplicity, with five faceless humans being drawn towards a wall of spinning saws. Rusty Mouse Trap for Lamest Trap will go to the Chain Hangers Trap, just because of that massive loophole where anyone could inject all three syringes into someone else to pass it. 